He's the quarterback for the Washington football team. He's Alex Smith, kind enough to join us. Alex, I'll get to you in a moment. How's your wife doing? She's she's doing good. I think she uh, obviously put her through some some stress on on Sunday, but uh, she was pumped. She was just as excited as, as me. I think, uh, especially going out there and doing it and getting through it, and you know, get that first hit out of the way. Um, but yeah, I think she definitely was uh, was feeling it on on Sunday because I'm watching. And, you know, she can't do anything about it. Your kids are there, you know, and they probably say, hey, dad's out on the field. Mom is probably going, oh, my God, we've been through so much. She's holding her head like she doesn't know how to react there. Have you seen the video of? Uh, I, saw the, I saw the good clip, and I think it kind of sums it up. I felt like my wife certainly there, and, you know, feeling feeling it. You could you could see the stress on her face and, and you know, obviously concern. And my daughter's oblivious. My four-year-old daughter's <laughs> dancing next to her. <laughs> in the stadium you know my boys are I think my boys were a little more in tune but they still had, you know I, I don't think kind of a, a great idea and just kind of taking it in the dad's back out there um but yeah it was it was fun funny to see that I was I was really happy they got to be there you know we hadn't had fans the first couple home games so I was I was pumped that the families got to come out and certainly they got to be there with me because my wife has, has been through so much the last couple of years with me and uh so so cool for her to be there and uh to share with me I also wonder mm-hmm. if it helped that you didn't have a week to prepare for this moment. Like it was just, hey, Alex, go out on the field. Yeah, in a lot of ways, you're right. Like rip the bandaid off. It was like as soon as the hit happened on, on Kyle, I knew it was it was a good one. And, and uh, yeah, I went over and grabbed my helmet. I was like, let's go. It's, it's time to time to go. You know, warm up a little bit, get a few frozen, get a couple snaps, and like uh, no time to think. Um, in that sense, yeah, it was it was kind of nice. Just let's let's, let's go. No build up, uh, straight to it. So yeah, in, in a lot of ways, thankful for that. You know, for me, it's also it's been it's been hard with no off season, no preseason. Um, you know, take away the take away the the injury for me. It's obviously being out of football for two years as well, and and so for me, taking advantage of the reps, getting back in, um, what it's like. So it was it was nice to get thrust out there, especially into a two minute drill where it's kind of just just go play and react. And for me, a lot of that I think those instincts, knowing that that all there, just kind of. I felt like uh, hadn't left. So it was nice to get back in there and get in the mix. But I, I know this may sound strange. What felt more like football, the pass that you complete or Aaron Donald trying to take your head off? Like I always, as a quarterback, and this has been my entire career, you know, like coaches, I think, talk to you about, you know, as far as getting into a rhythm. And for me, it's it's kind of one or the other. Get a, get a good completion or get hit, you know, and, and I think both uh, as, a, as a QB kind of help you get into the game, into the flow of things. So, Nice for me to kind of knock, knock both those out pretty early. <laughs> Did Aaron Donald say anything to you? Like when he's trying to tackle you? I mean, everybody I knows what no, you've been I, I mean, through. Obviously, the one time when I didn't know it was him that jumped on my back. I mean, I knew it at some point. I felt like it was in slow motion. <laughs> and when I did, I'm like, I felt like I had a body on my back. <laughs> you know, and I'm, and I'm standing there and certainly, uh, you know, to, 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 to know that I'm good to go uh, with that. And obviously feeling strong out there. So that, that was nice. Uh, Aaron's, Aaron's obviously a, a heck of a player, but, uh, you know, obviously a really good person as well. I've, I've been around him a little bit in off season, so a ton of respect for him and, and love, love that, uh, obviously he brings it. And, and so it was nice out there to, uh, certainly get thrown into the fire a little bit. Are you competing for the starting job? You know, for me, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I go out there and compete every single day. That, that's the deal. You know, camp was, was a little different. You know, I started on pup. And, and you know, obviously a little bit had to go prove it uh, that I can do this. And so kind of starting behind the day ball, we got a couple of young, young quarterbacks that, that obviously, you know, getting the majority of the reps. So for me, trying to take advantage of my reps, take advantage of my opportunities out there and make the most of them. And, and yeah, certainly this week to kind of make, to get bumped up to the two and, and know that I was one play away. And, and, and I knew the reality of that as much as anybody. So for me being ready, I mean, my number's called, I'm ready to roll. And, and, uh, this, this leaves about making the most of your opportunities. And, and uh, uh, so for me, uh, excited about whenever this next one comes. He's Alex Smith. He is the uh, quarterback for the Washington football team. Last time you were on the show, you got traded to Washington two hours later. Yep. Did you know when you were in Minnesota that day, you were going to be traded when you went on the show? Am I under oath? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> uh, you know, there, that was kind of, honestly, it was, it was, uh, it was ironic that that, you know, that day kind of doing some of the media there around Super Bowl that day, 
uh, that was kind of the day when a lot of that was actually going on. So in and out, a lot of that, I was kind of getting updated um, in between <laughs> on my phone and, and uh, with, with conversations. So that was the day it was happening. So yeah, certainly I knew, I knew things were in the mix. A little weird to be doing, uh, obviously, media in the middle of all that. Have you watched the documentary on your comeback, your surgeries? I did. Yeah. I, I watched it this off season when it aired. I was, you know, it's uh, not only, you know, a little bit scary, obviously to put all that out there um, to let the cameras in and try to be real. That was my goal from the get go. When I decided to do it, it was just, I, I wanted to be honest and real and not hide anything. And, and so, yeah, you never know how that's sometimes going to come out. Um, so yeah, I was I, I like, uh, just like everybody else wanted to see, uh, everyone see it. I couldn't get through it. Couldn't do it. No, I've had, I've had six surgeries on my knee, but nothing compared to that. And I, I just, I, I tried and I, at some point I went, you could lose your leg and you're, you're allowing a documentary and, and I don't know how close you could have died, but I know that you were close to maybe losing a portion of your leg. At any point, do you say to your wife or does your wife say, no, this is like, let's get the cameras out of here. Yeah, man, I, I think the thankful thing, yeah, I mean, certainly when I had sepsis and, and things were, and my life was kind of in danger, at that point, I was, it was just, just, you know, doctors just trying to save my life. And then from there, save my leg. And I think once once I had elected to, to, to go with limb salvage and, and obviously the, the numerous surgeries that that, that was going to take um, and the unknown, that that's when the documentary became you know, a reality once we headed down that road. And, and so for me, uh, was a lot of thought, but certainly the uniqueness of the situation. For me, also the uniqueness that uh, a lot of the, all the technology, even the surgeries, the limb salvage surgery that I had, a lot of that was all perfected um, because of the servicemen and, and women, especially these last, you know, 20, 25 years in the Middle East. And there had been so many limb injuries um, you know, from, from the wars in the Middle East. And so for me to kind of benefit from the technology uh, that our servicemen and women, uh, you know, had gone through, I, I think was part of it for me that it really kind of made it worthwhile. I was the first, obviously, I think athlete to kind of go through this. Um, this was kind of uncharted territory as far as the road back. And, and there were no guarantees that I was even going to get beyond maybe even just trying to walk. And obviously that was scary. Um, and and uh, I'm thankful to be obviously where I am today and, and to, to for so many things. So yeah, that was kind of the thought process for me that, that, um, I, I wanted it. I was, I was benefiting from so many people before me and, and I felt like I owed it to anybody coming after me to kind of, uh, document it and, and uh, help, pro, you know, help progress. Can you win comeback player of the year after five weeks, Alex? <laughs> I, I don't care. Uh, honestly, <laughs> you know, for me, the, the feeling, the, the feeling, uh, being out there, the the emotions, the the being on that edge. That's that's why I came back, and and uh, certainly in the middle of it right now, and, and just taking it day by day. So, I wondered about this. And it's not fair to put you in the position, but you know when Dak goes down with that kind of injury, and and this is a fraternity with quarterbacks. Do you reach out? Yeah, <laughs> guys, great thing you asked. You know, for me, especially with Dak, I feel like we have a ton in common because he played for for you know my same coaches all through college. You know. A bunch of you know Dan Mullen coached him in college. My, my good friend Brian Johnson was his quarterback coach all through college. So uh, Dak's a guy I keep up with a lot, certainly in the division as well. So I have a ton of respect for. I love his game. I love him as a human being. Uh, everything he's about. So I I had just gotten home uh, from the game, you know, celebrating. You know, obviously with you know taking it all in with my wife and, and kids, and we had the we had the Cowboy game on. So I watched it happen live. Um, yeah, and, and, and you know. I feel like I've become a little bit of an expert, <laughs> you know, <medically, laughs> especially on the, the lower leg. And so, yeah, I knew looked like his ankle immediately. And, um, you know, for me, yeah, thinking about him a lot, I, I thought a lot about, I've checked up on him through our, our mutual friends and, and seeing how he's doing. I thought a lot about shooting him a text. Part of me also didn't want to scare the hell out of him by shooting him a text. <laughs> and, and, and then thinking that, uh, Dude, he might be headed down this road. So I feel like I kind of want to let him, I'll let the uh, infection risk kind of get out of the way and, and uh, hopefully reach out here soon. Well, I don't know what the next chapter is, but you gave us a hell of a one this past weekend. And, uh, you know, 
Like I said, I've been through so many surgeries, and you're going out there to play football, and that's completely different. So my admiration for you as as a man, I mean, that's that's impressive stuff, and and certainly your wife to be able to be there because I know how important that is. Have that support because without that, you know, maybe you're not you're not here. You're not in this oh, moment no, right no. now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, thank you, Dan. Appreciate it. Thank you, Alex. Uh, that's Alex Smith, the uh, quarterback for the Washington Football Team. 